I was muted. Hello, everyone. Welcome into the stream. Hi, Cryptic. How's it going? Good to see you. I'm going to give you a shout out. Because I like your face and your pistons. Bro, rude. Kaiser University. <laughs> if only the president was really that ripped. What a world to live in. Welcome in, Cryptic. Good to see you. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Cryptic is uh, currently fixing up his model. He has a Discord and recently posted uh, some nice piston action. Piston didn't work, so it's no longer on the bottle. <laughs> Bummer. Okay, never mind. You should still check out uh, his Discord, though. All around great time. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry it didn't work out. It looked, um, well, it seemed like it'd be a cool concept. But the rest of the model is being updated. We can't wait to see your progress. Uh, we're also working on updating some models around here, but we won't talk about that. Uh, today we're going to be back at, uh, finishing up our stories from the break and doing a little doodles of them. Let me get over here. Here we are. I'm going to move around for a bit. Let me see, I need to put myself to where uh, when I look down, you still see my Kelly face. Okay, this this looks good. Chicksoy, welcome in. Uh today or tomorrow, the model should be finished. <gasps> I'm so excited, Cryptic. I can't wait to see it. Uh welcome in, Jigsoy. I'm gonna give you a shout out too. Because I also like your face. For those of you who don't know, we uh, kick, uh, drug Jexoy into the 21st century the other day. He now also has a Discord. You should go join that one too. That makes perfect sense. Aww. How does he go from happy to be new gay? Hey! Oh, because of me. It's a new one. <laughs> He's like not very happy doing it. Hitsy's plan unfolds. Hitsy? <laughs> <laughs> It's his plan. I'm very upset. Jexoy deposits ads on a lamp as an act of rebellion. That was such a great time. Uh, that's when we played Gardic Bone with Jexoy and some of our other friends over on his channel. Uh, I was streaming for almost six hours today. I saw that you were doing the Kingdom Hearts randomizer. Uh, I remember. I uh, see. I was. I was in the know. Welcome in. Um, yeah, you can see me there. I was not in the voice chat because I was in a room of people, but that's okay. I should, uh, I'll link. I should link my dis uh, Discord to my Twitch. Yes. Yes, you should. Because it'll help. There's always the next anniversary. <laughs> So, uh, Jack Soy is chronically boomer when it comes to technology, which is the Twitch year anniversary. Yes. So slowly but surely, we're going to get him modernized. And so the Discord's part of your growth now. So welcome to technology. It's going to suck. <laughs> but I, I know you could do it. It took me... Uh, let's see, I'll turn this down. It took me maybe six hours to set up the Discord with all the fancy nubbins that I got. Uh, but yeah, you've got Hizzy helping you organize it. So you're in good hands. You've got help. I was flying solo. We're going to actually have a call set up stuff. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. 
So, uh, that'll definitely help you. She seems very, very knowledgeable on all those matters. I'm gonna turn this down a little more. On my end too. Okay. Uh, so where we left off was Cam's air travel woes. We played the uh, present cup game and Ham got sick with the uh, baddie 19. So now we're moving on. I need, I remember I'm having problems with layer capacity. So we're going to merge all these. She's basically my secretary. I will not be able to do any of that. <laughs> well, it's good that you have some great knowledgeable friends under your belt. It's always good to have friends that know what they're doing. Let's see, just merge all of these. I'm so grateful for that. I can, what did I just do? No, undo. I can understand that. Whoosh. Uh, Spelly has actually helped me a lot. That's been the person who has helped me uh, through the Discord challenges. I didn't mean to grab both of those. What am I doing with my life? Okay, there we go. Spelly is awesome. Yes, she is. She's a great and wonderful streamer, great and talented, and super kind and helpful. So she was kind enough to help me test out some things, which is why whenever I was um, trying to invite you over to the Discord and you got in and everything, uh, I had put in the wrong, uh, code. Did you enjoy the turtle video? I didn't get to see it yet. I have been trying to fix some things on stream for a couple hours now. So I've been lurking over. For those of you who don't know, Spellies was doing a 24 hour charity live stream to save the turtles. And, uh, one of the milestones was reached. So now over on the discord i believe where she's posting the pictures we're also gonna get a sandy video she's actually still live neato burrito if i've got enough people that aren't already dual streaming with her at the end we'll go give her a raid i'm gonna have to go back and watch her vod so i can see her she made a beautiful Thanks for the call out. I don't know what I did. Spelly made a beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know. I, I remember. Yes. If I have more people than Jexoy at the end, uh, we will go raid because, you know, he's already over there. He's already on three other people's streams right now supporting us. So <laughs> I haven't looked at her discord in a while. He's still got some great stuff there. So, um, there's a lot of turtle pictures over there right now, if you're into turtles. I raided her today, also. Yes. Yes, you did. I was there when it happened. Uh, so we'll definitely give her some support. Uh, assuming everyone here hasn't already dipped in and supported her. Like you, XOI. Okay. Uh, what was I thinking? Oh yeah, I was gonna show... I made a donation, so I was able to get a picture. I support all my friends. Yes, you do. Uh, let me see if I can get the picture. Billy uh, drew me a picture as part of the rewards. Bolo made a very generous donation. It was in honor of Ham's birthday, which is tomorrow over here, at least on this side of the globe.
Give him age. Happy birthday to Hamden. Well, thank you. Wait, what? Tomorrow? Yeah, so... Uh, we made... A donation for her, her birthday tomorrow. Two days uh, where you're living, Jixoy, but... Let me make sure I'm not gonna save this somewhere I'm gonna forget it. Here we go. So happy birthday, we helped save the turtles. What a wonderful present. Okay, let me see. Let me just drag this in here. Lord, this image is large. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's put it to the screen. Here we go. So, um, I, she, it wasn't a turtle specific request. Um, you could request anything to be drawn. So I requested that I get a picture with Spelly. Or it's not Spelly, with Sandy. Spelly's, uh, Nice turtle friend. In honor of the, the turtley cause. So I got this really cute uh, picture of us together. It's freaking adorable. And I'm going to have to go back and watch the VOD so I can see her make it. Because whenever she was streaming that, it was a completely different time over here. So we couldn't see it drawn live. But I will go back and watch it. Because this picture is so freaking cute. Look at Sandy. Look at her. Well, if you'll let me, please, let me zoom in on Tortle. Whoosh. Look at her. She's so freaking cute. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Billy doing great things, doing great art, being a wonderful person, all the usual stuff. And now we'll get back to the story time. So sometime a little before the 19 sickness hit and during and after, there was this really fun thing. Uh that we were able to do with Ham's family unit. And that was uh, wooden puzzles. So they got puzzles from a company that makes their pieces out of wood. And all the pieces are not square shaped. They all have really weird shapes to them. And some of them are specifically shaped like objects. So, for example, one of the puzzles they were doing was a dragon. So the puzzles were medieval themed. They had pieces shaped like dragons, uh, shields, crowns, treasure chests, knights. Uh, princesses, uh, mythical creatures, like there was a griffin in there. So a good time to be had. For sure. They did three in total. They were, they were puzzle fiends over there. We're just going to draw some puzzle in. So they did, the first one they did was a circle that had like the tree of life, but on acid is what I could, the best I could describe it. It was a tree. It was bright and colorful and uh, very uh, patterned. 
Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, a tree, but like really loopy branches, really curlful barks and shapes and patterns. Uh, and then the second one was the dragon with a gold horde. And the third one, which they didn't get to finish because we ran out of time, uh, was a galactic butterfly. And that one was so funny because it comes in a box and on the box it says, hello, my name is insert puzzle. And so it says, hello, my name is intergalactic butterfly. It was great. A little too big for an ice spot. You know, to make it smaller. Yes, all caps. Intergalactic butterfly. Yes. I need to make sure that's a clipping mask. Gonna increase the size of this brush. I started making a song called The Last Brain Cell. I posted it over in Maestro's Discord so I could get some constructive criticism on it. I wanted to sound like a dying brain, so the first and last bits are like intentionally annoying a little bit because it's not supposed to be all that functioning. But I'm trying to get some constructive criticisms on it so I can improve it if I can before I release it. Come over here, and we're gonna do the shadow layer. Okay, and then a blur it. We probably needed about 75 little. Oh, that's a little too dark. There we go, 45 looks about right. Then we'll do the freckles. Did I do that on a separate layer? I did, think it is. And this one's close enough, I could probably get the colony in there. Without the colony, I would not be able to ingest sunlight like I do. But they're very near and dear to me. Let's see, I need to make that bigger. There we go. Hooray for the colonies. Okay. I think I need to turn down the shadow layer a little more. I'm gonna go ahead and group these. Now we can do the buns. Whoops, wrong brush. Go. 
And we just gotta get all the effects in here, just like the body. up a little. And some shadow. And I won't bother putting the colonies on this one. But we will put the speckles. Because I'm trying to get through these pretty quick and lazily, I'm just going to do a duplicate bun. Okay, and then we'll get the communicator. I'm on the wrong brush again. There we go. I need to go back and thin that communicator down. It is looking too thick. Okay, now I could get the lights on it. Actually, this is... I'm facing the other way, so this is the back side of the communicator. I don't want to put all the color on these puzzle pieces. The puzzles are always super vibrant and got a lot of patterns on them. But for the purpose of my sanity, these are just going to be brown colored puzzle pieces. Some of the pieces don't even have any connectors. Like there were some that were crescent moon shaped and some that were just plain circles. And the way they would fit into the puzzle is by being surrounded by other puzzle pieces. And because there was no like edge, <laughs> you couldn't just work from the edges in. Some of them were just like squiggly pieces. And their connectors were like, sometimes they were triangles or diamond shape. In the dragon one, a lot of the connections were diamond shape. And in the butterfly one, they were flower shaped. Let's see, there was a monkey shaped one. So let's get kind of a monkey shape. Let's 
he was like on a branch. The cool thing about the puzzles too, on some of them, if you turn them around um, and looked at the backside, they had scenes in them. So like the puzzle pieces made pictures as well on the back. Or that you could see better on the back, I should say. The colors on the front distracted it a little too well. see and they had a always had a piece that was their logo which is like a dragon in the shape of a circle with a little puzzle piece inside of it so I'll be holding those pieces there Let's see, I'm going to get one more piece on this side, I think. Let's do a couple in perspective. Olo accidentally absorbed the materials. Not necessarily absorbed. They're just uh, sticking to my skin a little. My membrane isn't really penetrable, but I can stick to things on a molecular level. So... I think it's more accurate to say that uh, I clung to too many pieces at a time, probably. The humans doing the puzzle probably had a hard time figuring out what was going on. I just like holding the pieces. Oh, that's right! <laughs> I did! Thank you, Dixoy, for the reminder. I was so busy thinking about the uh, the absurdity of these pieces that I forgot. My brows. I'm gonna move that one up a little. And I'm going to make this a little longer. Here we go. Thank you for the reminder, because I did forget. I'll put a little piece there. I gotta turn it down again. I'll put one here. Oh yeah, crown connectors too. I remember that on the dragon one. A little crown connector there. And a diamond one here. I'm going to come in and fix these to kind of look more like the diamonds. That one's pretty good, actually. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little cheat real quick. Give them a little more depth. Yay, cheating! Look, if anyone ever tells you, hey, you can't do that, that's cheating, just tell them that's all humanity is, is finding shortcuts to do things better, faster, easier. And if you're not doing that, then something's wrong with you. See? And now they just got a little more three-dimensionality to them. And then we'll go and do the same for the other side. 
I cheated all the time working on that commission yesterday. <laughs> oh, yes, I seen that. Uh, the full rotation. And I also saw that you went Super Saiyan. Uh, while you were... <laughs> while you were working on the, uh... The commission piece. Love the rotation on it. What, what else? Uh, maybe we'll do some of the butterfly pieces on this side. So in the butterfly, there were also pieces that were butterfly shaped. They even had little antennae. Some of them didn't even have any connectors. It was just a butterfly. You had to figure out where the heck it went in the puzzle. One of them was just a straight up Shurigan <laughs> um, weapon. And it was a quarter piece, the tip. So like, I'm going to display it over here. So like, you know... And it wasn't a Shurigan, it was um, like a multi-faceted kunai, basically. So it had this bit going on, and this, this part right here, the tip, was the edge piece that we were missing for a long time. That very tip of it is the thing that connected the, uh, the bridge of the wing together. <laughs> Uh, I did because I was going maximum speed. Maximum speed that, you know, you did complete that commission in a super quick time. But you're always a fast worker. Hey, I, I don't remember what shape I was going to do. So we'll just do like the kind of flower lotus shape it had. In some places. And some of the connectors were butterflies, too. One of them was like a ringed planet. So I'm going to get that in there. I think I'll just get one more piece. Let's go. Oh my goodness, there was this piece. It was absolutely minuscule. It was literally the smallest piece in the puzzle. And it was just so freaking tiny. It had one little connector. We'll put that there. I think we'll call that good. Because I want to be able to get to other things. Okay, same song and dance. We're for the opposite side now. Need to adjust that to be a little lighter. I made it darker on that side for some reason. Here we go. We're going to merge these. And then I guess I'll just get like 
a background color of some kind. Uh, let's do like a peach. Gonna have to change this color a bit. Um, bleed it into the background. So let's do this trick. Gonna feather it so the edges are nice and soft. We're gonna make the brightness a little higher there. And now I'm going to change the hue a bit. Just a bit. I don't want it too dramatic. You know, I'm going to redo that. I think I'm just going to change the hue. A little redder. All right, let's merge these down and get the the message above it. over here yep weird puzzles I'm gonna come back capitalize those majority of the trip we were with Ham's maternal figure and for like a week we went over to the fraternal figure the father figure for those who don't know what that word means um we got to do a couple cool things so one of the things I forgot to do was over here. Let me make sure that's the right line thickness. This one's a two panel. Split panel. So this one is we got to go to the Sequoia National Park, which is all nice and good fun. But it was snowy, so we're gonna get some winter colors. We'll make it a little gray so we can get the little gray for the background so we can get the snow color on the trees. For those of you who may not know, sequoias are the largest a tree by cubic volume in the world. And then the tallest tree is the coastal redwood. Yeah, I didn't think that was properly connected. And I was right! So 
So we didn't go see the largest tree because that part of the national park was snowed off. The path was too dangerous for us to get to. Now I need a redwood color. Kind of red like cedars. And there, there's a lot of cedar around too. So... Gotta be careful because them cedars will try to pretend to be a redwood. Yeah, redwoods, you can tell by their bark um, because it's a very fibrous bark. And something neat about the tree is that they are highly fire resistant. So um, it takes a lot to burn them. And even if they do get burned, usually they can stand and their bark will regrow over their wounds. So there's trees in the park from old forest fires uh, that have burn wounds, but you can see that the bark has started to regrow over them. And they're one of the trees that need fire in order to disperse the seeds from their cones. So they were built to be sturdy and be able to outlive the source the chaotic source of their uh, propagation. So this one I wanted to be a little angled since they are just such huge trees. It's going to be one of these numbers here. We got to see the third largest tree uh, by cubic volume in the world while we were at the park. That was really fun. accidentally switched the eraser and I don't even know it. Go. There's a whole group of people that think the sequoias and the coastal redwoods are fake. They're like, there's no way anything could grow that large. Uh, <laughs> I hate to break it to you. They're very real. <laughs> They're very beautiful. You're mis missing out on the majesty if you're that pessimistic about the world. All right, let's get a nice pine color. Gonna lurk while working on the model. Neato burrito. I can't wait to see it. I'm excited. Happy lurking. Yeah, as always. Let's get a nice foresty pine color. I'm trying to think how I want to portray them. Because they're not like a conventional pine. They've got a lot of spaces between their branches at this point, and they were very snow heavy, so they were very densely packed. And we'll go through and add the snow in it later. 
Maybe on a couple of these I should put the burns into the bark. I don't care for how this middle branch is looking. Get in here and clear it out. I also didn't really give this one the perspective. So I'm going to go in and do that posthumously. Are very barren. Don't let that guy be a little scraggly. I think I'm going to lower the size of my brush. For the top of this. And we'll increase it. Some kind of in between. Those. I'm going to come in here real quick and add some charm marks into this one's bark. There was so much snow when we went that the visitor center was completely under a snow pile. Luckily you could still get into it, but uh... <laughs> Cryptic, I just went into the messages to see your face staring at me. I feel like you're penetrating my soul. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I lost my train of thought. Now all I can think of is cryptic seeing my dark secrets. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in here. Oh yeah, the visitor center. It was very, very buried. I flipped one of the values and that face happened. 
that face you make when you flip the values. I will only feather it a little bit. I'm going to make it darker. Yep, I made a accidental mark over here. Let's get rid of that. Let's get the snow on it. And we, let me look at my brushes. I wonder if this would be a good brush for snow. Yes, but I'm going to have to darken the background a little more. Can I get it a more blue tone? No, I'm gonna have to add a blue. Let's see. That way it's more of a sky. There we go. Sky tone. And we'll get the white. We'll get in here and add the snow resting on the pine leaves The branches are really heavy with snow, so the trees looked real, real skinny like. Oh, it's getting serious in here. Too serious. Duplicate it so they're a little floofier. And I'm gonna put my galley face looking up at them. Yep. Need to turn that down a little. Come in here and add the effects. Took me forever to say that.
Put the shade in here. I need to make that shape a little better. Down to like 35, probably. Yeah, the speckles are a little too big. Lest I forget about them again, we'll go in and add the feature. Let's get the buns in here a little bit. About right there. I don't think I'm going to bother putting features on them. You're not going to be able to see it for the communicator, really. back into their pain. I keep missing it. Oh well. Oh well. Give me the cater. I'm going to put a line in between them here so you can tell the difference. Thinner line. There we go. I need to lower the opacity on my brush. There we go. We'll get the light in. I'm gonna add a blush because why not? They were freaking adorable, adorable little trees. And by adorable little trees, I mean adorable giant trees. Okay, merge it all together. So I got room to work on the next layer. I'm 
Okay. I'm gonna come in here real quick. I need to fix the edge of this tree. And then the next part is while we were at the park, since there was lots of snow, the humans taught me about snowball fights. I can't make a snowball. I have no limbs. But I can't hold them. Can't really throw them, but I can hold them. I need to go in and fix that corner there. Boop, got it. Let's come over here. Get these details put in. I probably won't even bother to put beckles at this size. You really won't be able to see them. I don't bother wasting my time on it. Get our shade. Back down to the 35. Let's throw this all the way down. Yep. in. Since it's so tiny, I don't think I'll bother putting shade on it either. Come up here. Merge these. Need to uniform that. I said uniform, please, good sir. Thank you. Opposite side, so it's just the Now 
still gotta merge them. Why not? I also need to add the features. Go. Yeah. this side too for this guy for the background Turn this up get in here Clean it up. Not assisted clipping. And we'll get your what? Ground down. There are a lot of people sledding. And just having an all-around great time. People are having cookouts at the park and in tailgating. It was just a wonderful time for all the people who came out to see it. No? No more? Okay. Manual Samuel it is. This layer needs to be on the top. This is my snowball. I held it until we left. Look at Pam. Pam absolutely pelted her life partner. Just straight in the neck. And... She was like, come on, hit me back. Her life partner didn't want any of it. They're like, no, I can't hurt you. back a little bit just get it a little out of place there we need to go get Pam's skin tone there we go This also needs to be under and we'll just get some definition going on real quick.
Let me come and fix this. Get my action lines. I need to do my action lines in yellow. Get this behind everything. There we go. I'm just going to come in here and light this. life partners a little further down the spectrum of color. Kind of dive it out of the way. I guess it'd be more of this angle. Gonna come back to my action lines layer. Get some simple shoes in here. And 
And then I... You guys need to not be on the clipper mask. But what I will do... Try to... Bring in our beauties again. Let me... So this part on the ground, they're huge. in here real quick and fix this line portion. I don't like to do outlines. So I'll only put it, the outline in the places where we need definition. You're gonna have to fix those legs. that line there. Let's go back to the action lines. Need to decrease my size. We get a little jump up. Instead of action lines. There we go, let's uh, merge them down. I'll go ahead and merge the two since they're the same. this weird glitch in Procreate where I won't let you open the keyboard from the editor for some reason but if you click on the move icon and click off of it it'll let you do it. There we go, Sequoia National Park. I think that's in a good place. You know, I could turn off my grid. I don't know why I've had it on for so long. There we go. So, this next panel is about our stay with Pam's maternal father figure, or paternal, fraternal, goodness, paternal father figure, what I meant to say, paternal figure. And something that I didn't know was a problem amongst humans was this thing known as warding. And what that is, 
is when a human collects a bunch of things that is different from a collection. Like, for example, um, there were six rice cookers in the garage. And just stuff all over the place. Which I thought was neat. I wanted to hold that stuff. Cam and her partner didn't really want me holding that stuff for some reason. Turn this down a little bit. Let's get a color for the background, real quick. sure. We'll go back to the pinks. I'm gonna try something different. That was so much quicker. Okay. we did was we went bowling. Let me... Your ball was orange like a boon. I remember that. And I got to hold it for a little bit. I couldn't really roll it anywhere. I tried my best. They had little baby rails up for me. Ham says that bowling isn't about being good at it. It's just about having fun. No, those were fine. The way they were. And then it had swirly bits in it. Kinda looked like a planet.
Now, because of the preemptiveness of the house, uh, Ham tried to get them out as much as possible. I'm going to turn down the opacity on that a little. Here's me with a little cup of water. I didn't wear my communicator. Because Ham said it was a noisy place. I don't want to hurt my receptors. That's, I'm on the eraser. That would explain problem. You know, P for bullying. <laughs> um. Let's try to get the seats in. Let's start with the base. Increase the size a little more there. We'll get the cushions. I'm gonna have to change my background. Put this color a little better, I think. for the back. I think that needs to be a little more back that way. Okay, I'll go to merge these. Okay, I didn't really pay attention to that line because I Uh, preoccupied with the fact that I forgot to turn the clipping mask on. <laughs> okay, I need to shrink this a little bit.
Okay, let's get rid of that. Then I'm just gonna merge these. Now let me undo that. I do want to get a bit of shading on this. That's about aligned, I think. And then this needs to go behind me. Line that up a bit. That's the command kiosk that sits between the lanes. They had issues with the bowling lane. I didn't really want to work half the time. There was a lot of waiting for someone to try and fix something, but... In the end, it was always just kind of fixed itself. So there were some people next to us that were regulars and they knew the owners and they they called, they were kind enough and called them to get our lane fixed. But they didn't have to, so that was really nice of them. Upside down bean. Need to fix that. to be a reset button on bowling lanes but now they don't have that button at all and what I mean by that is there used to be a button you could press that would force the the lane to come down and pick up the pins and do a fresh pin placement and the reason that was such a problem is because a couple times especially towards the end Uh, the pin grabber got stuck. That was definitely not accurate. So let's come over here.
Close enough. I'm actually gonna turn that back up. Now I need to put that below. I'm like a more translucent than normal. What's up with that? Yep, everything's okay. I'm just super see-through in this one. I think I'm gonna move myself so I can be seen a little better. Okay, and then I think I'm just gonna adjust the background. Forgot I was on automatic. I think I'm just going to do an abstract mention of what's happening in the background. Just kind of do televisions. Just for some reason, bowling alleys have a bunch of televisions. All of them had something different. So I remember. One of them had like a football game. One of them had a marathon of the Iron Man movies. Um, and another one uh, had a third thing that I can't remember at this juncture. I'm gonna come in here and erase this line I accidentally made. Let me make my eraser bigger. Maybe I'll get like a mention of pin. Okay, I'm gonna. That's as good of a pin shape as I'm gonna get, so we're gonna copy and paste it.
Also trying to make this a multiply. the way they look when they overlap each other like that. Yeah. Okay. Two rank. I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo that real quick. So I could try to get these into more, more places. So it is harsh. And then I think I'm going to come back here with the rectangle tool. I need to not get it as high up. There we go. Turn those down since they are the, the lanes. And there we go. Let's merge things down. Feature. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. What kind of time are we looking at? We don't have that much time. Maybe I can get the corner of the next panel done. See? Don't want to do the keyboard. Let's group of these. What's going on with this one? Nothing. Get rid of it. Okay, I'm going to do a thing. So after the Sequoia Park, we traveled back to our country of residence. And both Ham and her life partner were sick again, just the entire way back. Air, uh, air sick.
And then, once they returned, uh, Ham got sick again. So I think what I'm going to do... I wish I hadn't merged these down. But I had no choice at the time. Let me just come in here and edit this a bit. Best of my ability. I need to turn down the threshold. Let's uh make this a clipping mask above this. Undo those. Yeah, redo that. No, it took off Ham's nose. Let's rank this again. I also need to... Okay, this can come down now. I need to... Stretch this a bit. Raise this down to the frame. And then here. Actually, I think it may be easier if I just use the rectangle tool. Yeah, it's not that big. lines I'm about to do. I just realized that I brined Ham's nose. Doing all that. Let's not do that. You know what? It's not an important detail. Let me come in here. Whoops with this on freehand.
And this one. Is. This is mystery version sickness. We think it may have been a couple of things together. The flu combined with horrible allergies for the trees that are currently in blossom here. And that took about another three weeks to get over. So we were gone three, about three weeks longer than we were hoping for. But this was it. This was everything we had done on break. Lots of air travel. Winter festivities, lots of sickness, lots of puzzles, and uh, hanging out, doing uh, bowling, and uh, hiking through the sequoias. It was a great time. Let me put a kibosh to that. Switch over. Whoa, I'm way over there. Here we go. A little more. So thank you everyone who came into stream today. I see I have two viewers and I know who they are. And uh, since you're a busy cryptic and Jack's always already supporting Spelly, we will not go do the raid after all. So thank you guys for stopping by and uh, hanging out with me today. Well, I do. We will be back tomorrow with some Cozy Grove and Dome Keeper. So we'll see you then. Have a good one. And until next time, have fun, space friends. <laughs>